you do not understand what you are generating and the result slaps you on the face you start believing life is a drohi traitor understand life is not drohi you planned for it and apart from planning you always had a blind eye your head was that side you see if you know you are creating something very bad and that hits at you at least you will consider life as virodhi viroditva the idea life is a virodhi enemy can be healed if you fall in love and somebody showers love on you one person's love can heal you so completely the whole concept life is a enemy you will forget only when you forget life is a enemy you are experiencing true love in the modern day one of the biggest problem everyone comes and says swami ji i think i am in love with that person should i get married now over what do you mean by saying you think you are in love with that person understand then it is not love forget about it when this is the definition when life is enemy concept is forgotten your heart is healed so thoroughly by one person's love understand you are in love the other person he or she is in love I was in medical school uh, um, and I, I got a chance to meet Swamiji physically in 2012, so four years later. Um, this was uh, an opportunity I got when uh, in, Dece in December 2012 when uh, the cruise in Awakening was going on. The ship uh, uh, um, docked in uh, Port Klang in Malaysia and Swamiji organized a one-day culpatory program. So. Um, I just attended it. I really wanted to attend it. So that was the first time I met Swamiji in person. I got an energy darshan from him and um How did that feel the first time being in front of Swamiji getting energy darshan? What was that like? Um well, uh, I came near him and then uh he pulled me close to him and uh he gave me a hug. And um he asked me in Tamil um yenna veno, which means uh, uh what do you want? At that moment um I was a person with lots of ambition but lots of desires and um at that moment I literally had nothing to ask him. I felt so complete, so fulfilled at that moment that um I felt my life was so complete with him 
that I didn't have anything to ask. I felt whatever I I f- whatever I felt that I couldn't live with or whatever I felt in my life that I really wanted felt so redundant to me. So right in front of him uh, I had nothing to ask. Um he gave me an energy darshan which just I don't know what happened. After that uh, the whole outer world looked redundant to me. I just had this cognition in me that I didn't I didn't need anything in the outer world for me to be happy. The science of yoga was revealed by Sadashiva to humanity to evolve from human to superhuman. It is not just the ability to stretch your body, it is the ability to create what you want in your life through manifesting the shaktis of Sadashiva. Creating a yogic body is the first step to hold the energy of enlightenment, the ultimate goal of yoga. We invite you to join our 21 day asana challenge to deepen your practice and align your body to the cosmic geometry. Step number 1, download the Nityananda Yoga ebook. Step number 2, post the daily asana. Step number 3, tag us at Nityananda Yoga on Instagram and Facebook. And step 4, use the hashtag the original yoga. In order to support your practice these 3 weeks, post daily, have fun and tag a friend to join the challenge. At the end of the 21 days, the photo with the most likes through Instagram or Facebook will receive the original yogi kit blessed by the living avatar of Sadashiva, His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda, to take your practice to the next level. That includes a signed copy of the Nityananda Yoga book, an energized Rudraksha mala, a bag of vibhuti and kumkum. If you feel like you are a contender at the end of the 3 weeks, screenshot your yoga asana with the most likes and send it to us on Facebook.